The role of the pharmacist has really evolved to move from a product focus to a patient focus. So pharmacists are doing more for patients. They can do things like administer injections, they can give refills, they can give emergency supply, they can prescribe for minor ailments, they can prescribe in a collaborative environment. So there's many things that pharmacists can do that we haven't been able to do in the past. And this, these services will continue to evolve over time. Pharmacists are expected and are called upon to do more. As such, our curriculum has to keep pace with these changes and therefore we've adopted the PharmD program to keep pace with other schools of pharmacy across the country and also to maintain our accreditation. So in order for students to learn the complex skills and knowledge, they will require an additional year. So it's going to be a five-year program. In the last year of the program, it will be primarily pharmacy practice experiences, and that's a big focus of the new PharmD, is more of an emphasis on practice experience for the students. So in year one, we have 20 hours of service learning, plus shadowing with the community pharmacists. In year two, we have some more job shadowing, as well as a community pharmacy experience for six weeks. In year three, there's a hospital pharmacy experience for two weeks, plus a direct patient care rotation with the pharmacist for four weeks. In year four, we have a hospital pharmacy rotation for two weeks. And then year five, we have advanced pharmacy practice experiences for 30 weeks. So we'd like to thank all of our dedicated preceptors who are able to offer great practice experience for our students. Without them, we wouldn't be able to offer our program. They really contribute to the future of pharmacy practice in this province. Applicants are required to complete 10 specific prerequisite courses before being admitted to the program, and that is the introductory courses in uh, biology, chemistry, English, math, and physics. Uh, we currently admit 40 students each September, and almost 90% of these seats are offered to residents of Newfoundland and Labrador, and one seat is reserved for Newfoundland and Labrador First Nations or Aboriginal ancestry. Applicants are required to submit an application by February 1st of each year for admission that September. The Admissions Committee is looking for candidates with strong academic capabilities and also those that demonstrate attributes and characteristics that would make an effective pharmacist. And these are demonstrated through an interview process and also in the uh, performance of their academic grades. So pharmacy graduates have so many exciting opportunities. They can work in a variety of pharmacy practice settings, or they can even go on to pursue graduate studies. So some areas include community pharmacy, hospital pharmacy, academia, pharmaceutical industry, government, pharmacy associations, pharmacy residency training, or a master's or a PhD.